What's going on YouTube? My name is Rockstar Kiddo. Thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to go over one of the ghost types in Phasmophobia. There are 16 in the game currently with two more unlocked towards the end of October 2021. Uh, please remember that whenever you, you play a game of Phasmophobia, the ghost will be randomly generated. This means the type, gender, age, height, name, and the model of the ghost will be generated by chance. And so you won't be able to identify the ghost by what it looks or sounds like. So let's go ahead and discuss one of the ghost types called Poltergeist. When you first look at a Poltergeist journal, you read this about them. One of the most famous ghosts, the Poltergeist, known to manipulate objects around it to spread fear into its victims. Strength, Poltergeist can throw multiple objects at once. Weakness, with nothing to throw, Poltergeist become powerless. Now to clarify, when the stream states the Poltergeist can move multiple objects at once, this also includes doors. When a poltergeist uses its power, it will throw all nearby items. If a player is nearby, it will decrease their sand by an amount equal to the number of items thrown multiplied by 2. This will also create an EMF level 3. So if you're in a room with 16 items and the poltergeist moves all of them, then your sanity will go down by 32%. Moving objects is the main way a poltergeist will try to bring your sanity down, so it can start hunting you early. The other traditional methods will st uh, still work too, ghost events, ghost appearance, etc. Now, it is helpful to note that all ghosts can interact with objects, so just because you see a plate fly in a kitchen doesn't automatically mean you're dealing with a poltergeist. If you see a large amount of objects and doors opening and closing, then you're probably safe to assume that the ghost is a pulty. If you want to be 100% certain then you're, that you're dealing with the poltergeist, then make sure to find its three evidences, uh, which are spirit box, ghost writing, and fingerprints. Also, something else to keep in mind that uh, if it's a lot of electronics, such so light switches being um, turned on, such interacted with, it's most likely a gen, not a poltergeist. One of the best things to do when dealing with a poltergeist is to make sure the ghost's room is empty of all objects. But this does take some time to do, so if you would rather not and you don't mind getting hunted early, then that's that is on you. One of the most annoying characteristics of a poltergeist is its frequent roaming away from its room. This can make it difficult to find the room sometimes so you can gather evidence like ghostwriting and spirit box. That's all I have for the poltergeist and in my opinion poltergeist isn't that scary although in this game it did surprise me a few times of being able to hunt me early and move objects in multiple rooms. Uh, what do you guys think? Is the poltergeist a scary ghost to come across? Make sure to comment below to let us know. Also please remember to subscribe and like this video. It helps me out a ton. Bye guys.